Crush, emotional thinking, the mirror technique. One of the most difficult aspects of the dynamic between a narcissist and the victim is where that empathic victim experiences emotional thinking. Many people are completely unfamiliar with the concept of emotional thinking until they embrace my work. People often talk about feeling addicted to the narcissist and will talk about, for instance, trauma bonds. Well, trauma bonds are just a form of the addiction and the emotional thinking that it creates. Emotional thinking is the enemy within. Its sole aim is to get you to feed your addiction to the narcissist. It does this by posing a triple threat. It does it by causing you to use flawed logic, the corruption of your traits, and through charging the battery of feeling. Flawed logic is where you do something thinking it is the right thing to do, but actually logically it is not. The corruption of your traits is where your various empathic and or narcissistic traits are corrupted by elevated emotional thinking to cause you to embark upon a course of action, which brings you into those arenas of interaction, feeding the addiction and causing you further problems. The charging of the battery of feeling is to make you feel a particular way, angry, upset, frustrated, sad, lamenting missing a person, feeling nostalgic, furious, upset, in pain, hurting, whatever it might be, to cause you then to act upon those emotions, again to draw you into the arenas of interaction, to make you stay in them for longer, and to go into as many as possible. This triple threat wants you breaching your no-contact regime. It makes you wanting you... It makes you... What it wants to achieve is to cause you to think you're doing things sensibly when you're not. It wants to make you feel a particular way so you act upon it and it corrupts your traits also. Many people, of course, want to get rid of the feelings associated with the emotional thinking. They want to get rid of the incessant thoughts about the narcissist. What's the narcissist doing? Why did they go off with this person? I still don't understand why this happened. Why won't they leave me alone? Why did they continue to hate me when all I ever did was be good to them? Why won't they stop? Why have they gone off with that person? Thoughts after thoughts after thoughts that create the bewilderment and the confusion. You know from my various videos and products in the Knowledge Vault that I explain how dangerous emotional thinking is. And indeed, many of you don't even realise that you're experiencing it. First of all, because you're unfamiliar with the concept, and then thereafter, because you don't actually see it, because you're not aware of it through a lack of insight. It's hugely important to be able to spot emotional thinking and once you are practiced at doing so, you can implement a range of techniques to then help you crush that emotional thinking, thus meaning you don't operate with flawed logic. You operate with true logic, making better decisions which protect you. Your traits can't be corrupted as often or at all. And those feelings of frustration, of anger, of hurt, of pain, of sadness, confusion, they melt away. They evaporate into the ether, enabling you to achieve freedom. And when a particular thought manifests about the narcissist, you either just jettison it immediately, or you work out why you've thought about it. You work it out using logic, no longer getting on that merry-go-round merry of confusion, going round and round and round, wondering why. You either jettison the thought, immediately or you jettison it through the application of logic because you've made space in your mind for that logic through the reduction of your emotional thinking. People of course struggle to do this and I have products in the knowledge vault namely how to tackle emotional thinking and the final battle how to stop thinking about the narcissist which assist you with that. I've also developed a further product called Crush Emotional Thinking, the Mirror Technique, which is a bolt-on to the existing services products to really help you stamp on the throat of your emotional thinking and get it down to the lowest level. So where emotional thinking is continuing to plague your life, where emotional thinking is making you fear the narcissist, where emotional thinking is derailing your no-contact regime again and again, where you want the pain caused by your emotional thinking to finally go away, 
then it is time for you to crush your emotional thinking and time for you to deploy the mirror technique. Just use the link in the video description which will take you to my Gumroad site where you are able to purchase the relevant logic bulletin at a low amount, a low sum compared to the benefits that it will provide you with. And there you will implement through utilizing the detailed audio files, the correct techniques for crushing your emotional thinking to enable you to achieve the freedom which you richly deserve. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.